guys, so today's wig was actually sent to me from Wild Africa, and this is a 360 lace frontal wig. It's 180% density, and it's a curly Brazilian virgin hair texture. The code for this one is TLW06. So the length on this baby right here is 20 inches long. It's a color, natural color. The cap size is an average cap size, 22 to 22 and a half inches. My lace color is a light brown lace. This wig is uh, bleached in the front, so it does have bleached knots. It has an ele uh, uh, extra elastic band that it adjusted to this one, which I feel like is the best adjustable strap. Guys, this makes the wig glueless AF. There's no glue needed to apply this wig. It's simply glueless. I did actually put mine on the second knot, so uh, the second notch, so therefore mine's is super duper secure. The hairline is also pre-plucked as well, so this is what I like to consider a complete wig. Everything comes preset for you guys. The only thing I'm going to do is go ahead and customize the baby hair lengths around the hairline. I don't want to do too much baby hair magic, so what I'm going to do is go in and kind of flatten the surface to give myself more of a natural look. Look. So what I'm going to do is go in with my hat comb. I'm going to press against the hairline and against the baby hairs. This method I feel is better when you want to do kind of like a natural looking uh, hairline against baby hair. Sometimes the Gatsby glue can make it look really crazy. So what I'm going to do is use less Gatsby glue this time to achieve a more natural hairline. So I often get asked this question about this product. So this is the My First Wigs a Flyaway Tamer. Now I'll link this down below for you guys if you guys are interested in purchasing this product. It's very good for the flyaways. It gives a hairline a smooth application. I use this on just about any texture wig, any style. It just does a really good job kind of separating out some of the parts of the hair, especially in the hairline area. And it does hold down those flyaways very perfectly. So it's definitely a method I love. co-wash before I actually showed you guys it so this is a natural curl before the product so the hair is pretty solid people it's pretty nice shedding is very very minimal on this unit I did not receive a lot of shedding but you guys can see how thick and beautiful the curl pattern is and you guys can see how glueless this wig is there is no glue applied to this unit whatsoever so I did decide guys to go ahead and cut this unit I'm sorry I had to cut it I had to cut it I had to cut it so this is a 20 inch, you can go ahead and get yourself a 16 if you want this type of look, but I do like how blunt it is, how nice and kind of like unstructured, kind of like unfun it. It's just, I don't know, something about this look, I don't know, I've been into kind of like shoulder length hair, especially curly hair like this, it just gives it more of an earthy kind of natural look instead of just being all nice and you know, perfect. I think this blunt little cut with the curls, this kinky type of curl is definitely it. people so this is the finished look of this unit so initially before I actually put product in it I was gonna leave it the way it was before when it was kind of dry style but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when it has like a little bit of product in it so that's why I kind of like did it towards the end of the video which is kind of weird for me um, as far as the product that I did use guys I used the uh, argon oil style and shine foaming mousse um, and this is pretty inexpensive it's cream of nature and this was $4.99 so I usually use this on my curly hair wavy hair whatever 
over. I just put it on last minute so I could show you guys how amplified the curl pattern was. So this unit was sent to me guys from Wild African. Beautiful ghoulish wig guys. This is pre-bleach. It's pre-plucked. It also has this amazing elastic band which I did show you guys in the beginning of the video which is amazing. Now I did put mine on the second uh, hook. So this unit is very very glueless on my head. I can move it and place it right back down and it will be glueless AF. So that's one thing about this unit that, or this company that I like. And I like I like to consider this kind of unit like a complete wig because you don't really have to do that much. One thing I did show you guys in this video is um, I showed you guys that instead of going in and like doing too much tweezing or anything like that or kind of finding ways to do baby hairs without having that kind of like dry look from the got to be glue, what I did this time is I took the hot comb and I showed you guys how I pulled the baby hair down and then I pressed the hot comb backwards on the hairline so therefore um, the baby hairs will lay this way so therefore the hair can go back. Doing it that method you could avoid using uh, like got to be glue or anything because it'll just give you a natural appearance and even because the wig is glueless and you're not gluing it down uh, when the wind hits you back your wig looks really flawless guys it's like looking like look at that so I kind of made it so that therefore that I split like a, a separation between the baby hair some lace and the cap to give it more of a realistic look in just all aspects I honestly like the hair this way though I, I press it down with the hot comb and basically what I do with the curly units when I'm using the hot comb is I don't obviously want this part to be straightened down so what I did with the hot comb was just press it down and do kind of like little ridges in it to kind of go in the formation of the curl pattern um, I like it in this format with the hair coming all the way straight down to my face it kind of gives me like that kind of like kinky kind of like old school type of hairstyle real natural kind of like toss curls nothing perfect nothing all you know nice and I do like it this unit's about like 20 inches long so it's not too long but what I'm probably going to do to be honest with you guys is just snip the unit just about right here to give myself that kind of short kinky look I actually think that will be really really nice guys so I'll probably just insert it in the video of me actually cutting this because I'm probably gonna cut it and the thumbnail is probably gonna be shorter so don't be shocked when you're looking at the thumbnail thinking like why is it here shorter in the thumbnail versus what it looks like now so now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking that I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a nice little cut like this I love how kinky this is I think it looks really really good and like I said let me show you guys one more time this is a glueless AF wig. Uh yeah, very glueless guys, very glueless, very very nice, well created and well done. Alright people, so that basically wraps up today's video. I will leave all the information down below if you're interested in purchasing this unit from Wild African. Do not forget guys, thumbs up this video, leave your comments down below, subscribe and share this video with your friends and family, people, and I will catch you guys in a later one. Bye.